When I was at school, I was really good at maths and I always wanted to be a maths teacher. And in my final year at school, we were given these things called computers. And I thought, these are really cool. What can I do with a computer? So I went along to the job careers person and I said to him basically, what can I do with computers? So he got out a book, scrolled through the book and said, you can be a computer scientist. And I said, what's that? He said, programming. I said, that sounds cool. And he says, or you can be a computer engineer. And I said, what's that? And he said, programming and fixing the computers. And I said, that sounds better. And that's how I became an engineer. So I think engineering is largely misunderstood, particularly with a lot of young people going coming out from school. Um, and when I've been into schools and talked to them about engineering, one of the one of the points I try to put across is that every aspect of our lives is impacted by engineering. I've been an engineer for over 35 years and the very first year I was in university I didn't know what kind of engineering I wanted to do, I knew it was electronics and then I was introduced to logic gates and as soon as I discovered logic gates I knew that was the area I wanted to work in. Personally I've noticed with several of the engineers that I've worked with over the years that they have a really creative side to them outside of work as well. So you tend to assume that engineers outside of work are going into their garages and building cars and building motorbikes and there's certainly a contingent that do that but there's also a contingent who are incredibly creative and artistic. The thing I love about engineers is uh, you're there to solve a problem. So you all work together, it's a big community, and you're all there trying to get a solution, and the best solution. I would want children to get involved in engineering because everything that they, they do every day has an aspect of engineering, from riding their bikes, to getting on a scooter, um, to being able to build bits of Lego and be able to use Lego to develop new and innovative products as they're going through that. My daughter, for example, she loves building Lego. She's seven years old, but she builds the kind of nine, 10, 11 year old Lego because she's really interested in that engineering and the build process. And there's so many things that need engineers to come in and we need to engage the kids and get them really excited about this. So there's lots and lots of initiatives that are going on to get kids into engineering. Ada Lovelace Day is a day that celebrates women in engineering and you may be surprised to know and to learn how many women have been involved in products across the years. It's still showing the number of girls coming into, into engineering is only like about 10% of the boys that are coming into engineering. I have no idea why. We need to tell them how exciting this career is, how creative it is, how much of a difference they can make and how much money they can earn as well. It's a brilliant job for people going forward. So I think uh, little girls should be in, involved in all aspects of construction and engineering through from building Lego to making things out of paper and cardboard and just helping to develop that creative process from an early age and helping them to understand the enjoyment that can be found in that creative process. The kids, we need to tell their parents, we need to tell teachers, just basically anybody out there who doesn't know what an engineer is. As engineers, we love doing our job, but we're not very good at telling people about it and what we're doing and we need to get that message out there.